All right now, let's now look at um, further questions in technical drawing SA2 for the year 2020. Now, we we're looking at this, we've done the 3A, now we we'll won't move to the 3B. And um, when we we'll look at 3B, question 3B that says, the sides of a rectangle are 40 and 16. Number one, construct a square equal in area to the rectangle. Then two, measure and state the length of a side of the square. Now this, this is a topic under um, area of a plane figure. Now this topic is treated under area of a plane figure. And I believe um, in further classes, uh, we expatiate more on this and how we can also use that of rectangle to draw a triangle and that of triangle to draw a rectangle parallelogram and so on and so forth. So I will check that subtopic separately in the full video in my next update. All right, so let's quickly roll into um, drawing of this. Question 3B. All right. Um, here is to question 3B. This is the solution here. This is the rectangle. Then this is the square gotten from that has the same area with the rectangle. So shall we see the way the way in which we can construct this? All right. Get your instrument close to you. Then uh, um, first step, draw your baseline, your plane of projection, your baseline. Mind you, look for an anchor shape to clean your board, your instrument. So that you have a good neat work. All right. So now draw the plane of projection. All right. Now. We are to first construct the rectangle with 40 and 60 side. So, make sure on this plane, dimension given is 60, 60. All right, label it A, B. All right, then the next one is from A, project one side perpendicularly up. So then measured forty on it. Good. Then you can use your compass and even this side to draw this perpendicular line, you can Draw a semicircle by set the two sides to get a straight line. And if you have your set square, you can just go directly and do that. And even this side also, you can use your set square to draw this side 40, then 60. Uh, but um, using construction method, this is how you also go about it. 
a question can say should use just compass only to draw your uh, you may be asked to make use of compass only so that is if you have to if you are asked to draw with compass only you draw a semicircle here then i mean like this draw a semicircle a semicircle of any of any size then by set both the upper part and the lower part so that you can have you can see it's cut it at the exact place I, where i did the line so then you draw it down to have it all right so now here yeah, I open my compass to 60 to draw this arc. Then I will open my compass to 40. Join it here. Then That's it. Sixteen, fourteen, sixteen. Good. Then after that, after we've constructed the rectangle, then the next thing is to extend this baseline. As is already extended, then use a uh, radius of BC. From here to here. Now let's label it. This is C. This is D. A, B, C, D. That this new part we've gotten. So now with the radius of here to this place, this is to draw, making this be the center, this is to draw a hack. All right. From here to C and draw an arc. All right, then the point at which this hack is touching the baseline, we call it he. We call it E. So, having done that, now by set A to E, by set A to E. Right. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I won't buy set A to he, then use it to get the center of A to he. Locate the center. This is the center. Good. With that center, draw and hack for making the center this. Draw an arc. Good. 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 So, I've drawn and hack. Then extend this BC and let it touch the semicircle. Extend it. Extend it. Okay. Now, where is touching the 
semicircle is one side of the required square from this B to this half A is our side one side of the required square so with this since we all know that a square has all its side equal then that means the rest of the side will take this dimension of b to f so what we just do is take the dimension of b to f dimension of b to f b to f mark this part and take it to this part mark it at the top and take it to half mark it then join those points together Charilla from here to here then here to here good and here so let's since we've gotten the required square we are to now taking it good good that's it we've constructed the required square which is let's label this side g h so this is the required and from the question we were told that we told that measure and state the length of a side a side or one side of the, that we've constructed the square equal in area to this rectangle measure and state the length of a side of the square so let's measure it all right mine is 4.9 centimeter 4.9 4.9 centimeter is one side the same thing as this side 4.9 the same thing at this side 4.9 same thing at this side 4.9 4.9 centimeter that's what i got then you might have 50 centimeter plus or minus one can be the different and it will be accepted all right and we can confirm this mathematically can confirm this mathematically okay mathematically we will find out that we are very very correct now what's the area of a rectangle the area of a rectangle is area area of a of a rectangle equals length times breadth and area of a square is L square. Now do this for the rectangle we're giving sixty times forty and for the square we got four now this is in millimeter so we can take this to millimeter which is equal to 49 millimeter so and now which is 49 times 49 we are going to have 2400 here and in here we we'll have 2401 so this one at least is just we have so close we are so just a little bit different so and that is it 
that is it and we are 100 percent correct thank you so much now watch out for the next solution please remember to subscribe to my channel thank you